we are on the road again and this time we have set course to the historic mining town of Wayne, Alberta. Now Wayne is famous for a couple of things. The first, 11 bridges in just six kilometers. More on that later. And the second is the world famous, so they claim, Last Chance Saloon in the historic Rose Deer Hotel. Now, I don't expect them to be open today because of the whole virus thing, but without a doubt, we'll be able to get some great shots of the outside of the historic hotel. But, as always with us, I'm sure there will be a few additional stops and some other surprises along the way. So come along and join us. Roll the opening, Mabel. So we are starting this journey to Wayne in the town of Rosedale, here in the shadow of the Rosedale Grain Elevator. It's in a very unique setting, but I'm just going to come out and say it. I think it's one of the ugliest grain elevators in the entire province. But still, it's a grain elevator and we like them, so I don't hold that against it. Now, I talked about how Wayne is famous for the 11 bridges. And essentially along this stretch of Alberta Highway 10X, you cross the Rosedale Creek 11 times in the six kilometer drive to Wayne. Now, there's a very common thing you will see online that says this is a Guinness World Record for the most bridges in the shortest distance. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, because I went online and I tried to find the official Guinness World Record, and I could not find it mentioned anywhere other than articles saying it's a world record. But I could not find anything online that confirmed that this is an actual Guinness World Record. So is it one of those things that has been repeated so many times it becomes the truth? I'll let you decide. I'm gonna say it's an unofficial record until somebody who's smarter than me mentions down in the comments where the record is actually listed. But uh, until then, it's still a really unique piece of, uh, of highway and a great drive, very popular with motorcyclists. And I've actually just driven over the first of the 11 bridges. And in a bit of good news, Dronocan is back, has been repaired, and I am gonna throw it up in the air here for the first time. And let's go take a look at that first of the 11 bridges from the air. Since we're already up in the air, let's go check out the grain elevator too. Okay, well that was just a short little flight, but that's okay. We've got a lot of bridges to cover, and as well, I really wanted the chance to just give it a, a little shakedown cruise after getting the gimbal replaced. I did a bunch of free pre-flight checks last night, and it was fine, but until you actually put it up in the air, you're never really sure what you're dealing with. Let's go on to bridge number two. All right, I did a little rigging here with the Gorillapod. 
uh, so that I could put the gimbal up on the dash of the car and be able to film while driving and being completely hands-free from the camera. So save your hate. I'm not driving while holding my phone. It's all good. All right. Pulling out of the Rosedale Community Campground, which is currently closed. And heading out for bridge number two. Now there have been some signs along here that are saying the bridge is, or that there is bridge construction. And that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to get out and do this video while I can. And that's because... You know, there was rumors that some of these bridges were scheduled to be replaced because of their age, and I wanted to make sure I could capture the original 11 Bridges of Wayne. Here we come up on bridge number two. And these are all one lane bridges, so you have to really be paying attention to make sure there isn't somebody coming who's going to meet you halfway across. Fortunately, most of them are pretty short, so they're easy to tell when that's going to be the case. As I said, Wayne was really a coal mining town. This entire valley was built on coal mining. Uh, there were multiple mines that operated in Wayne. I believe the last one operated right up until the 1970s. As we come up on bridge number three, I will just make mention of, if you go back on the channel, and I'll try to remember to put a link here, if you go back on the channel two years ago, we hiked up into these coolies to visit the historic Wayne Cemetery, which being somewhat inaccessible isn't always visited that much. Bridge number four is kind of hidden behind these trees right now, so I can't see. Hopefully they're just doing rehabilitation and they aren't replacing it. This does not look good. Looks like they're doing a complete realignment of the road here and building a brand new bridge. So one of the last chances to drive across historic bridge number four and follow the old alignment of this road. One day this shall be historical footage. Actually, having now crossed that, I kind of think that it looks like bridge number four is gone, and that one we crossed is just the temporary that was put in uh, while they do the uh, complete replacement. Fortunately, bridge number five and six, just off in the distance, both are still originals, complete with the wooden decks, which I think really adds to the charm of, uh, of bridge crossings. if it's in the shot here but just off to the left is another railway bridge this entire valley was also traversed by train tracks which of course were heavily utilized by the coal mines uh, the tracks I have photos from 2006 in which the tracks are still in place and I believe if you check out the bigdoor.com friends of the channel uh, they have a post from Wayne from 2013 where the train tracks are still in place. Crossing where the tracks once went across the road here. And unless I've lost my count, this is bridge number seven. They used to have little signs on them that told you which bridge number you are. And that one does, yes, that's bridge seven. It's hard to believe now as you drive through the valley that at the peak of its mining heyday, I believe this uh, valley and Wayne was home to about 2,500 people. Another one of the railway bridges and coming up here on the road, 
is bridge number eight. So you can see how, uh, how frequent you cross these bridges uh, over the creek here. I mean, I'm not uh, cutting very much out of this. This is practically real time that I'm driving down the road here, and it's just bridge after bridge after bridge. It's very, uh, very impressive. It's, it's just like I said, it's a great scenic drive at all different kind, all different times of the year. The other thing that makes it interesting is all the bridges are somewhat unique. Like this one here in this bright blue color with the high metal sides is very different from the lower pony truss bridges we've crossed over previously. This Chance Saloon is just up here on the right. I'm actually going to drive past it first and then come back and get some shots of it. Uh, I really want to just complete the bridge drive here first. So from what I could tell from looking at old photos, this was kind of really the north end of town and Wayne proper was kind of extending through this section that we're driving now. And here comes bridge number 10 and a great old railway trestle over on that side as well. I really wanted to get Dronocan fixed before I did this video simply so that I could put it up in the air and kind of fly over some of those railway trestles and bridges that you're not allowed to walk over. Um, of course, the railway, all private property. So putting up the or putting up the drone in the air and getting some shots of the bridges is going to give me a chance to get some unique visuals, I think, that are different than what you can see just driving on the road. Number 11. There is the 11 Bridges of Wayne. Now we can follow this road right up out of the valley, but again, I'm going to focus a little bit more on putting the drone up and getting some photos. But before we do that, let's just drive up here to this historical marker. This is the Jewel Mine site. And if you look over across the hill there, and you can see kind of that red uh, material, apparently that is very much uh, an indication that you're near an old mine site. Uh, Chris Doring on BigDoor.com has a lot better explanation of it. Again, check out his article or their article uh, about the uh, historic photos of Wayne and uh, the mining that took place here. So last night I followed the old rail bed on uh, Google Maps and Google Satellite View and traced it all the way to uh, through places like Rockyford and right into the city of Calgary. So this rail line that's over to my left would have carried on right through to Calgary back in the day. Now I was also hoping to be able to follow it a little bit further because I found a neat road on the map that traveled through and kind of paralleled the line quite a way till it come up out of the valley. But unfortunately, ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum, no trespassing. So this is as far along this road as I can go, but I'm gonna put the drone up here where it's uh, quiet and away from people and just kind of fly along the rail line a little bit and take a look at that. I think it's pretty obvious why I was hoping to be able to travel down the road into this valley a little bit further. I mean, this is just an incredible landscape. It looks like there's an old railway bridge just further down the old rail line here. Let's go take a closer look at that. It 
it appears to be in really good shape. This would make an incredible rails to trails project down the road. All right, time to bring the drone on home and head back into Wayne itself. Okay, that was pretty fun. We got a chance to take the drone somewhere where you can't really get without trespassing and see a old railway bridge. So I'm a big fan. What can I say? I love that stuff. So as we head back along this uh, dusty old road here uh, towards Wayne, I just wanted to take a couple seconds and talk about Drono Can and my decision to repair versus replace. Uh, Dronocan is an original DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, so it was released in, I believe, late 2016. I got Dronocan in 2017. So in the world of electronics, four years is a long time. And DJI has come out with some, you know, a really amazing new drones that have superior capabilities in a smaller package. But I really wanted, well, first of all, there's the money thing. The repair was probably the third of the cost of buying a current model drone. So no matter how you cut it, that's still less money. Plus I feel Dronocan is a very capable device even today. I don't feel like I'm really missing out on all that much by not having the latest and greatest drone. So those factors went into it and plus you know drones are not cheap and I don't feel like getting less than four years out of a drone that you know I spent northwards of a thousand dollars on to purchase back in the day Four years is just not enough time to really recoup that investment. So that was kind of part of the decision. In fact, what am I saying? That was kind of the entire decision. It just didn't make sense. So rock on, original DJI Mavic Pro. Go Dronocan. Right along at the base of these hills in this flat area is where two of the original Wayne grain elevators stood. And they were actually here up until May of 1980 when they were destroyed by fire. One was an Alberta wheat pool and one was a United Grain Growers. From what I was able to tell, essentially the railway siding, which was just a single track siding, came off the tracks just on this side of that rail bridge, would have come across this road here and probably run into this field right through this little area here. And I'll bet you, you can probably kind of see in the ground where the rail siding was. So those elevators, after they were destroyed by fire, were never rebuilt. And according to the article I read in the uh, Calgary Herald archives, apparently four other homes were also destroyed in Wayne that day. One building that wasn't destroyed is the historic Rose Deer Hotel, which still stands proudly here in Wayne. Let's throw the drone up and take a look at that from the air. And since we've got the drone up anyway, let's cross one of these rail bridges that we're not allowed to walk on.
Well, we may as well get really crazy. Let's see if I can fly underneath this bridge. May as well go under the road bridge too while we're here. And I've always wondered where this road that leads up out of the valley heads. So let's just follow it for a little while while we're here. And since we're up above the hilltops, let's fly over and take a look at the Wayne Cemetery. As I said, we hiked up here a couple years ago, but this is a lot less effort to visit it this way. One last look at this great valley and an overview of the ghost town of Wayne. Let's bring Dronocan home and get on the road and see what we find next. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Really appreciate you taking the time to join me here on the road today. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank all the new people who have subscribed. We're continuing that march to the 1,000 subscriber mark where YouTube starts to take you seriously. Love it. Having a great time. See you on the next trip.